Hello, hello, network marketing world. Eric Worry here. And I'm excited to be able to bring you some training today. We have Tony and Sarah Zalecki who are going to talk about how they built their huge network marketing business, how they had an amazing breakthrough over the course of the last several years. We're going to uh, offer up a free gift for you today. For those of you who are watching, a free gift that I think you're going to love. Uh, the free gift that that uh, we prepared for you. And we're going to hear a special message from leadership expert John Maxwell. So all of that here in our GoPro studios. Uh, we're also going to tell you a little bit about the, the GoPro 2021 event that's coming up um, in December 3rd through the 5th. We're going to give you an offer you can't refuse on that event. Um, and, and do me a favor in the comments, let me know if you already, if you, if you already have your GoPro 2021 ticket, put a number one into the comments. If you don't have your GoPro 2021 ticket yet, put a number two into the comments. So I'd like to see if you have your ticket or if you don't have your ticket for GoPro, a one, if you have it already, a two, if you don't have it yet. And um, we're going to talk a little bit about that. We got Tony Robbins going to be joining us. And we are adding some other very special guests that are going to be part of this event. And it's going to be the largest and most powerful event in network marketing history. So as we start this training, uh, Tony and Sarah are going to come on in just a, a few moments. Do me a favor and do yourself a favor and smash the share button. So your team can see this training, whether you're watching live or replay, hit the share button and uh, let people know that this is happening. If you want to have a major breakthrough in your network marketing business, Tony and Sarah Zalecki can help you. We're going to have a conversation starting in just a moment. I have a free gift on how to use challenges to be able to grow your business, a free training that I'm going to be uh I'll give you a link in just a bit where you can get free access to this training that will absolutely take your business to the next level. You're going to hear from John Maxwell. We're going to talk about GoPro. So smash the share button. We're going to uh, jump right into our training and introduce two of my favorite people in network marketing. They've mm -hmm. been around for a long time, but, and I would say, you know, let me just bring them in here. I would say that Tony and Sarah Zalecki, um, they've both been around the profession for quite some time and had a reasonable, you know, what, what some people would call success. They wouldn't have called it success, you know, <laughs> that they were making just enough money to be miserable. You know, they were full time, but they really didn't have the major breakthrough until I would say the last five years or so. Something mm -hmm. like that, would you say? Mm -hmm. uh, five years. Yeah. yeah. And in those five years, now they're million dollar Hall of Fame members. You know, they're they're building a huge organization around the world. You know, they've they, if you if you follow them at all, they've upped their game in every direction. And um, Tony and Sarah, welcome. Hi. Hi, What's everybody. Up? What's happening? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So listen, I want you guys maybe tell everybody a little bit about your story. And then let's bounce into some training and uh, have a little uh, conversation about how to uh, build a more productive business and how to experience the breakthrough. So you guys go ahead. Awesome. Well, good morning, everybody. It's great to be with you guys. And uh, we make our home in Minneapolis, Minnesota. So it's a beautiful fall day and uh, we are just loving life. We are. And, um, you know, our, our story, like Eric talked about, I wish I could say that we had like this amazing, like skyrocketing business um, right out of the gate. But we were not definitely not like that. Um, we definitely went through this pool of hard knocks, um, but we. We just we fell in love with this profession and and you know I like to share about I fell in love with the possibility you know I didn't understand the product line when I first saw you know this profession I didn't understand comp plan I'm not very good with numbers um, but I fell in love with the people I I just loved it I loved being around people that were motivated that were going somewhere that were 
you know, willing to cheer you on and say, Hey, like whatever you, you know, want to be, you can be it. And I, I fell in love with that part. And, you know, I had shared people, you know, my story, like I, I think for a long time in my life, I was kind of the girl that was invisible. I felt that, you know, I was just kind of like bopping in through life, but I felt like I just, I never really fit in anywhere. And I think for me, the network marketing piece, I love the fact that I could just authentically show up as me and it was good enough. And people loved me for who I was. And, and also they were willing to push me to get better and become, you know, just a better person of, of just all the way around. Right. And, and I, I got addicted to the, just the growing part. I got addicted to just the, the evolution of, of what could be. And so, you know, I just look back at over all the years of us, you know, growing together. And, you know, I think for us, the, the experience piece of just all these experiences that we've been able to have in network marketing that quite frankly, we have never been able to experience outside of the profession. Like, I think for us, you know, that's a part that's been so priceless. Yeah, I think for me, Eric, you know, when I started, I was 19. I had no idea what I was doing. I went to an opportunity meeting and um, sat in a room and got really excited because, you know, I had a chance to see something that I never had seen before. And I was fired up because I didn't know what I was going to do with my life. And, you know, I was just like, man, what does the future hold? And all of a sudden I'm in this network marketing meeting and people are dressed nice and, you know, they're presenting their business and the product and the comp plan. And my mom was with me. My sister was with me. And, you know, I just started going, man, I can do this. Holy cow. This could be me. Like I could maybe be in front of the room one day doing this presentation and, you know, telling the story and having a great story to tell and, you know, inspiring people. And I started and I had no clue, you know, what it was going to take actually to be successful and to make money and to grow a team and things like that. But I just was so, you know, fired up that there was people that were going to help me and show me the way and basically take what someone gave them and they were going to give it to me. And um, I got fired up about that. I'm just like, if I can show up and I can pay attention and I can really just listen and um, get excited and stay excited. And no matter how hard it gets, if I just don't quit, maybe I can figure this thing out. And that's what happened. And, you know, Sarah and I actually met, you know, at a network marketing event in 2005. And, thanks to you. Yeah, thanks to you. <laughs> and, you know, we started building an amazing business together, you know, so we kind of built by ourselves and then we built together. And now we got these two beautiful little kids. So we're building with kids now. But I mean, the last five years, like you said, you know, has just been unbelievable for us, you know, income wise, the millions and millions of dollars, you know, that we make a year now and you know, the team that we've been blessed to, you know, build and, you know, really inspire and help and teach and, you know, really show them what someone showed us for so many years. And, you know, we just love that, you know, today we're going to really talk about our secret to building a massive team and to building real strong relationships and to get people um, moving and stay moving, um, which I think is important. Everybody always wants to know that. Yeah, love it, love it, love it. And look, uh, if you're just joining us, uh, we're we're live here with Tony and Sarah Zalecki. What you, whether you're watching live or replay, we're here having a conversation about how to have experience a breakthrough in your network marketing business and what Tony and Sarah have used in order to be able to experience that breakthrough. And a little bit later, I have a free gift for everybody watching. So make sure that you stay tuned. Uh, a free training gift um, on, on how to use challenges to be able to grow your business. A real secret for leadership development and for team development that I think you're going to like. And also, uh, we're going to get a special message from leadership ex expert John Maxwell. So tell your friends. Um, the message from Mr. Maxwell is going to be coming up just a bit. And we're going to also let you know a little bit about GoPro 2021. Um, if you already have your ticket for GoPro 2021, people are asking, put a number one into the comments. If you haven't gotten your ticket yet for GoPro 2021, December 3rd through the 5th, put a number two into the comments. Okay. So with that, um, let's bounce into this topic for today. Um, Tony and Sarah, why don't you talk about why is this so important? Um, this interactions 
You know, mm-hmm. what, 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 and what do you mean by interactions and okay. why is it important? What, do, what does that all mean? Well, I think there's a big difference of, you know, people want to lead these big teams. So there's a big difference between transactional versus like interactional, right? And so, you know, transaction is, is really kind of like matter of fact, it's kind of just like not a lot of emotion, not a lot of like kind of the bare bones. I think it's kind of like, um, you know, just going through the motions, right, in a sense. And the interaction is is totally different, right? It's the being fully engaged, it's fully participating, it's, you know, being extremely present, right? And I think that, you know, we, we looked at, you know, when we um, knew that we were going to be coming on here, we said, hey, you know, let's talk a little bit about, you know, what's something that was a big turning point in our business for us. And for us, it was this piece. It was the, you know, really focusing on, you know, the interaction of just, you know, just everything that we do, because, you know, I think that it's important too that. I mean, I wish that everyone that came on board that had great success right out of the gates, but that's not always the truth, right? It's, they have to learn the skills. Maybe they have to go through the, you know, mental and emotional garbage that we've all been carrying around, right? It's the deprogramming. It's like, we all, we all show up to the table at different stages. And so because of that, it's the, the interactions that you do have with your team that creates the stickiness in your business that will allow them to stick it through. You know what I mean? Have that long-term vision that will keep on keeping on when they're not necessarily winning or winning at the highest level that they could be. Um, but it's because you took that time to really develop and cultivate that relationship that that's everything. And so for us, we've just worked really, really hard on that interaction piece for the last five years. Yeah. And I think for me, Eric, you know, when I started in the profession, you know, I couldn't get a team growing and it would always fall apart and I'd have to, you know, get it going again and it'd fall apart. And one of the biggest reasons it did that was I looked at as people, as numbers, and just how much money can they make me? And I was so focused on the money, the money, the money, the money, the money, where it was just very transactional with people. And people sense that. People pick that up and they're like, well, you're kind of a jerk. Or, man, do you got any emotion? Do you have any heart? Like, do you really want to help me? Or are you just, you know, here, here's that? the thing though. Let me, let me ask yeah. this because you guys have always felt like heart people. But do you yeah. think just the yeah. ambition of wanting to rank advance or whatever caused things to be a little bit more, um, you know, like a transaction? Uh, like a transaction. Huh? I, you like, like a, a transaction? transaction. It's like, yeah. you know, hey, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm here to make a sale, you know, e- either come in and go do some things or get out of my life. Um, yeah. Was it a little bit, you know, just kind of less personal or yeah. what, was the big, what was the big shift? I think it was definitely less personal. I think it was, um, I almost think that was, we created so, we had like so much urgency, right? We teach about urgency. We had mm-hmm. so much urgency that it, it was just like, it was so fast. Like you talk about a lot of times you've got to slow down to speed up, right? And I think that we weren't willing to slow down to cultivate that relationship and really get to know someone and kind of what I call peel the onion back, right? Where you take the time to, to, to really get to know them on, on a level that um, you can really grow together, right? Really knowing like what makes them tick. Like I think taking that time is so important because then I think you know, you learn as a leader how to properly motivate that person, how to properly- so, well, let, well, let me ask let me ask this. So, so you're saying that the relationship side is more important than the actual transaction side in growing a large and successful business. That's uh, that, that's the 150,000% all day long. All day long. Yeah. So uh, uh, those who are watching um put into the comments on a scale of 1 to 100 with relationships being important in building a network marketing business. What do you think on a scale of 1 to 100? Uh 100 being the most important, 1 being the least important. What do you think wh- what do you think? Throw that into the comments while we're having this conversation. Um what caused you to have this kind of mental awakening? Uh, what what caused you to say? I mean, was it 
did people say, you know, look, you don't really care about me. Uh, you just, you just want the production. You just need the CV. You just, you just want the rank advancement. I mean, um, did, did people give you that feedback or did you? A little bit. I mean, I, we had a couple of them that I was kind of like, what? what was that? Like, what was that? You know what I mean? Like they would, like they, I remember one time with one girl, she was kind of like, well, gosh, you make me, I don't even know what she said, but she was, I feel like, um, gosh, what did she, she, she said? Said, she said, I feel like I'm just the help. The yeah, help. I'm the hired help, which is really uh, weird. Uh, uh, I was like, what? And then I was like, okay, like that's interesting. And so then, you know, I I was adult enough to stop and reflect and go, okay, so like I need to rewind all this. Like I need to like walk these steps back and, and look at like, okay, so so what was that? And and I think too that, you know, there there were times that we would have conflict resolution. And I think we didn't really know how to handle it because we didn't really, we didn't take time to really get to know that person. Right. So because of right. that, we didn't know how to handle that, that, that person correctly, because we just thought of them as like somebody in the business versus, I mean, as you know, everybody is motivated by different things and you have to learn how to like, you know, each personality differently. And so we didn't know how to handle that correctly well, but, there, so, but there has there has to be a balance right because i mean you can't just be uh in the friend zone with everybody for forever if there's no productivity there's not enough time to just like be a counselor or you know uh be a buddy buddy with everybody if there's no production because you're still trying to build a business so how do you balance that stuff well i i think you need to set your boundaries huh right? so, so talk about that how do you so, build relationships and still and still set boundaries? Well, I think it's all about, you know, I we shared on the radical duplication, right? We talked about having managing expectations. So when we sit down with people that are brand new, sure we talk about, hey, so you know, let's talk about what are you looking for? And I'm gonna tell you like this is how we work, right? right. So we we let them know like this is you know, if you So if it's, you, it's it's not it's not like, you know, everybody on your team's not gonna be your best friend. Um, of course not. It, you know, I mean, you're not, you're not, you're not having, you know, coming over to have dinner and you're not going and hanging yeah. out, you know, going to the movies with them and all that stuff constantly, but you are, um, because there's only so much time in your life, right? Yeah. You are taking some time to, and it doesn't need to be a huge amount of time to just say, tell me what you want. Tell me what you're yeah. looking for. Tell me what drives you, what motivates you, what inspires you. Uh, what do you want to accomplish out of this business? Because in that, and it's, it's, you know, sometimes it's 10 minutes. Well, that's you what know? I was going to say. This is not a yeah, long Yeah, go time. ahead. Go ahead. I mean, if you do that, Eric, like right out of the gate, like you're, you're golden, right? It's like a versus trying to do that a month, two months down the road with somebody where a lot of times already miscommunication there's, you know what I mean? Like, I think for us too, we just focus on how can we be a great communicator? Like, let's just set it up from the beginning. So then they 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 we manage the expectations. They know how we communicate. We find how do they best communicate, right? Um, but like you said, that that time could be 10, 15 minutes um, in that kind of maybe initial like, hey, I'm I'm in now, right? Type of thing. I just enrolled. You walk them through that. But our team knows, like they know, like uh, they know that they are loved. They know that they feel heard. They, they got a voice. They have a voice, right? And they also know at the same time, like. We joke around, we have fun, but uh, but also they also know the side of us where we're like, hey guys, we win. <laughs> we yeah. win as a team. So we work. You know what I mean? Like they know there's that, there's that fine line. But I think at the at the end of the day, I think what they know is that they know that we respect them and, and, sure. and they respect us. We can agree to disagree, but I think because we we at the very beginning, we worked hard on and cultivating that relationship. And you can I mean, I, I think, I don't know, maybe cultivating isn't the right word because it seems so long, but like we, yeah. we set up that relationship. Yeah, you, 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 you started off on a, on a, on a, a good foundation at least. Yeah. Um, yeah. What I've always used, and I, I'd like to get your guys' feedback on this. And if you're enjoying this, if you think somebody else would enjoy it, smash the share button um, and let other people know. But I, uh, whether you're watching live or replay, but I always set up, you know, had this crucial conversation what right up front where we get to know each other. And I also let people know that, look, this is your business. I'm here to be a support system for that business. But um, 
here's how, here's, here's uh, what I need in order to be able to spend personal time uh, outside of our friendship and personal mm -hmm. time to help you grow your business. I'm looking for three things. I'm looking for people who are willing, coachable, and hungry. And I'm going to be using assignments and challenges to you in order for you to be able to, you know, to, to help you move forward in your business, okay, for you to succeed. And if you succeed, yes, that's going to be great for me. Um, if you don't succeed, it's not going to be great for anybody. I want to see you win. I want to see you achieve your goals, whatever those goals are. But if you want personal time, I need you to be willing, coachable, and hungry. And if you're those three, you get as, pretty much as much time as you as you want, you know, that that's kind of my criteria. And I'm going to find out if you're willing, coachable and hungry, because I'm going to give you some challenges. I'm going to give you some assignments that um, will your response to those challenges and assignments are going to tell me, uh, you know, what you're prepared to do in the business. You know, so what, what do you guys do as far as as to how those boundaries are set? Well, here's the one thing that I do all the time. You know, one thing I didn't do early on in my business is I really didn't understand people because I didn't ask the questions. I didn't get to know them at all. And here's the thing. People will have challenges in your business all the time. And that's part of what we do. And when you understand the people that you're working with, you can get really good at giving quick, good advice. And, you know, when people have problems, when people come up with stuff that, you know, is maybe taking them off track or they're not getting the results that they want or they're drifting away from your business or they're not doing the activity on a daily basis. Guess what? You can give them good advice. You can tell them exactly what they need to hear and help them get back on track and help them, you know, get through that challenge, get through that obstacle. Because what I have noticed is that, you know, when people are new in the business, sometimes a challenge and an obstacle can take a week off their business or sometimes even more than that. But if you have that relationship with people, with people in your team, with the people you're working with, with people that you're helping grow. I mean, you can course correct really fast. So I just think, you know, there's so much inside of all of us and there's no, why keep it inside of you? Like, that's what I love what you're doing, Eric, is like you give it away as much as you can, as fast as you can. And it makes a difference. And sometimes yeah. a huge yeah. difference in someone's life, their business, their learning curve, because, you know, there, there's someone that's going to watch this today, right? And they're probably watching this or replayers, what's up? And you're going to take this information and it's going to take six months off your learning curve, a year off your learning curve, just because of what we talked about today, us four or us three. <laughs> right, right. And, and let me, let me, uh, yeah, uh, uh, the, 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 the three of us and then the rest of the world as the four. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, look, I, um, how many of you would like to have a free gift? Put a number five into the comments if you'd like to have a free gift, a free training that you can use in order to be able to grow your business. Put a number five into the comments. And secondly, smash one of the emoji um, icons. Smash the love heart button if you'd like to have a free gift. All right? I want to see. I want to see. I want to see. I want to see. Smash the love heart button. I want to see some cool emojis cranking through um, on this post. And then I want to give you some cool stuff. Um, so let me show you what I want to give you a free gift. And the free gift is this, here it is using campaigns and challenges to grow your network marketing business. What I've learned more than any other thing for leaders, this comes from our six figure summit, uh, event. For leaders, using campaigns and challenges will cause more people to take action. I'll throw the slide back up in a moment. Uh, it'll cause more people to take more action, to be more engaged, to uh, get excited about taking a step towards their potential. So here's the slide. Here's the link again. If you go to gopro2021.com forward slash challenges, or if you're watching this on a um you know, like a desktop, you can just use the QR code to go there or just make sure that you at least take a photo or something of this screen so you can send this out because you can share this free gift with everybody on your team. GoPro2021.com forward slash challenges. This is a free video training from the Six Figure Summit for Six Figure Earners and Above on how to use campaigns and challenges to grow your business. Okay. GoPro2021.com forward slash challenges. Um, 
challenges, assignments, uh, campaigns, those were the things that that helped me learn how to once once I developed the relationship, you know, and I and and part of my I think my success in in the field and even in training is people could sense that I really wanted them to win. Mm-hmm. People could sense that, you know, they weren't just a number that I wanted them to have the breakthrough. They could sense that, I, uh, the empathy that you you know, the com- communication and the empathy, but they also sensed that they needed to earn my time a little bit because mm-hmm. there was only so much time. So when mm-hmm. I told them you need to be willing, coachable, and hungry. You need to be willing because I can't force you to be successful. You need to be coachable because I can't help you if you don't listen. And then you need to be hungry because I can't teach hunger. You're hungry or you're not, mm-hmm. right? Those three things had a huge, huge impact uh, for me being able to manage a large organization, for me to be able to attract more people into the team and to be able to set the standards, you know, mm-hmm. set the standards within the organization. So you guys have have kids at home, you know, you've got your marriage, you've got, uh, you know, your, your high ranking in your company. So I'm sure you're involved in company decisions and events and everything else. Um, with all the relationships that you have on your team and all the other things that are pulling you in all these, uh, these other directions, how do you balance all that? Um, I wonder, do you? I, I, we don't. <laughs> I, I I wish we could say we had this like magical formula, but um, you know, for the people that know me, they know that there's one word that I talk about. It's present. Um, I I think for me, it's the way that I have not felt overwhelmed um, as a mom, and and you know, doing the best that I can do to be a great spouse to Tony, and and being the best leader that I can to our team is I just really focused on the present piece where just whoever I'm with at that moment, like I'm fully present with them and they feel it and they know it, Um, you know, because I think that we've all experienced people that we've maybe been in a conversation with where we felt like, dude, are they even here? Like you feel like they're like looking the other way. They're not fully present. Um, And so for me, I just learned how to just be in that moment. Like, I don't think I'm able to, you know, uh, fully like balance all the time. But even like with our kids, I mean, our kids are little, they're six and nine. Um, And so for, uh, for them, most of the time, they just need us for like a couple of minutes. And, and if we, if I give them their undivided attention, and I'm like, eyeball to eyeball and with them, that's all they need, right. And so um, versus like, hey, I'll do the whole day with you, but you am totally distracted. Like that, that day is useless. I, for me, I'm really about you know, that time that I do give whoever, like, it could be two minutes, but they feel like it's been an hour because I've been like fully, like my blinders are on and I'm just like, I'm in their world. And so um, I think for me, like that's, that's been my, my ticket is I just, I'm very sensitive to who I'm with at that moment and just fully present. So they feel heard and loved. And, and I think that, that to me has been the secret to, to really, quote unquote, balancing it all, right? making it all work. How, how about you, Tony? Well, you know, our life is busy, you know, and I, I love busy lives, you know, because <laughs> know. it keeps me going. It keeps me excited. You know, I think that, you know, quality time is everything with our kids. So when I'm taking Hudson to soccer or taking Ava to gymnastics, you know, for that hour, um, quality time. I'm in that moment. I'm watching them. I'm taking pictures. I'm taking video and they know dad's there. They know dad's in their corner and they're looking up to me as they hit a goal or as they do a handstand at the gym, right? They're just, you know, they kind of look at me. I kind of look at them. We wink at each other, but you know, our business is all over the world right now. And, you know, we're excited about that. And that's what we always wanted to have a business like we have today, you know, globally. And, you know, we, we're up in the morning early and, you know, we're, we're doing what we need to do for our marriage. We're doing what we need to do for, you know, Tony's time and Sarah's time. But then we're putting it, you know, into our business, into our kids. And we just take it as it comes to us and we do the best job we can do. And um, it's worked out for us. And, you know, the yeah. whole thing of people that say, oh, there's got to be this balance and this and that. And, you know, right, we right, kind right. Of I don't believe in that. I mean, yeah, I, same, same as you guys. 
balance comes in seasons, you know, you got, yeah. you know, you, you need to think about balance over five years, not over five minutes. Right. Um, you know, it's just like, you're, you're going to have hardworking times and you're going to have resting times. You're going to have supporting times and you're going to have growth times and there's going to be family times and there's, you know what I mean? Well, and Eric, it's kind of what you taught us too. I mean, it's like the more you really take on that mindset of an entrepreneur, I mean, the, I think the two things that are super important is you've got to be flexible and you've got to be adaptable. Right. And so right. for us, like our life is very flex. Like we have a vision. We know what we want. We know our vision, but we're flexible with our plan. And I think that's a big secret too, where people are like, so regimented. I'm like, my plan's not going right. I'm like, guys, your freaking plan's never going to go right. You know what I mean? Right. You gotta be okay it's constantly that. adjusting, isn't it? Just totally. every, every minute of the day. It's just like, oh, wait, wait, I got to adjust that a little bit. I got to adjust that a little bit. Oh, somebody got mad over here. I got to go fix that. I got to go repair this. Or I got some, yeah. some, uh, you know, crisis of faith over here. Uh, I got to, you know, build some belief over there. It just gets, yeah. you know, sometimes it's proactive, sometimes it's reactive. What percentage of your life do you think is proactive and what percentage is reactive in, in real life, in real, real talk, in growing, growing a, you know, seven figure a year business, how much is proactive? It's all part of the plan and how much is reactive and just kind of adapting as you go. Honest. Okay. So I, so I think when you say it that way, I probably say, I'd say 50, 50. Uh, yeah. What I, do you what do you think? What do you think, Tony? Yeah, I was gonna say forty, you know, sixty, but yeah. You know. what, what what what? Who gets this? What gets the sixty? Um. So forty proactive, sixty reactive. Yeah. I, I think if you're forty proactive, that's a huge number. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Even fifty fifty, it's just massive mammoth. Because I mean, there's there's so many things that happen. Yeah. You know. Yeah constantly every minute it's like you couldn't even plan it you know you you couldn't even have anticipated uh what's going on you know the company oh, yeah, just announces an event or you know your company just announces an event out of the blue and that if that changes everything you got to do over here or whatever mm -hmm. some 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 new thing happens yeah well yeah. yesterday was about 90 percent reactive it was. As it <laughs> <yesterday>. <laughs> yeah. oh my god that um, is, this is so <laughs> you know yeah but well, I think I, the reason I say that, the reason I say it is, is, you know, I think, I think that I guess I'm looking at from the perspective of I've learning, I've learned how to be proactive versus reactive, right? Where yes, I think yes. sometimes, so I think that's a little bit different. Like it's kind of different, like how you're using those words, because I think that, you know, for us, we used to be super reactive to stuff. And because we were, it, um, I, I think that we we made a lot of decisions and 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 like we just weren't emotionally mature yet in the business. Where I think you know one of the greatest lessons you taught us is just really you know guys you got, like you got to grow up you got to grow up like you got to learn how to like take up like the power of the pause and the you know what I mean and learning how to look from both sides and realize that you've got you know blind spots and put yourself in their shoes. And so I think so that piece for us a proactive if we're talking that way I think is like ninety percent. You know, mm. like we work really hard to do to be on the proactive side that way versus reactive. I love that. Uh, well, I'm I'm going to um, bring in John Maxwell in just a few minutes. So those of you watching, make sure you stay stay tuned because I'm uh, he's going to be talking about the power of five and um, give you some. He's a huge fan. I mean, uh, of network marketing in general, direct sales network marketing, and um, you know, he's the generally recognized as the leadership expert in the world. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're, we're going to hear from him in just a few minutes. But before we do that, I want to talk about GoPro 2021 for a moment. This is the big, the biggest event in network marketing history, December 3rd through the 5th of this year. And Tony and Sarah, uh, I'm going to give you an offer that you just are not going to be able to refuse. Whether you're, you have a ticket or you don't, I'm going to give you something really cool today. But uh, Tony and Sarah, you really used this event to help your team create more leverage. Mm -hmm. You really, you know, you promoted, um, you know, you're not compensated for promoting or anything, but you mm -hmm. promoted this to be able to uh, get more of your team there and mm -hmm. help have them experience their own breakthrough over the course of three days towards the end of the year. Why have you made this such a priority? What, you know, what, what was, what was the rationale behind it? Why should a person, why do you think people on your team should attend and 
why do you think a person in general, if they're involved in network marketing at all, should attend this event? So, well, I mean, oh my gosh, there's like so many reasons. I think the main thing that I think about is you know, we all learn about using third party tools, right? In our business, like this is the ultimate third party tool that we can use to move our, our people along. I mean, I, I look at, you know, just the, the three day event The we all know, you know, air talks about how a profit's never welcome in their own hometown. Right. And so we might say something to one of our team members a gazillion times. And it's like on deaf ears, like they just don't hear it. And then all of a sudden, Eric or someone else that's speaking at GoPro, they say it and they come back and they're like, oh my God, you won't even believe what I learned today. I'm so excited. Like I, cha I pivoted, I changed, I'm now applying this thing. And you're thinking, oh my gosh. And, and we just saw that happen so many times where I think too, guys, we wanted our team to grow faster. And so we knew that, you know, how do we get our entire team on the same page? Well, if we have everyone getting trained up for three days, and we're all in this like amazing like little incubator of growing as you know up and coming leaders and leaders like it's just going to advance our business even faster so i think for us too we looked at you know as a as a as a leader like production wise we're like hey we want our, our people to get bigger faster results even with what is already happening in our team and we just found this was the very best way to be able to do that yeah and eric i'll just say by far this gopro event has been the biggest impact on our team, on their growth, on their stories, on their leadership, on their checks, which, you know, makes the story even better. Because I think when people plug into this, and there's a lot of events you can go to online today, right? But you can add all those up and GoPro is even that much better than all those. Because when you get into this training, in this virtual audience, in this world, of Eric and GoPro and all the leaders and all the thought leaders and all the different people he brings in. I mean, one, you're learning the basics. You're getting good yeah. at the fundamentals. You're learning, you know, how to get to a couple hundred bucks a month, a couple thousand a month, tens of thousands, millions of dollars. Like there's so many different levels here and you're getting this all in three days. So, I mean, you're getting the information and right away you course correct. Right away, yep. you adjust. Right away, your strategy shifts a little bit. And all of a sudden, boom, your business is double, tripled. And I'll tell you this. I mean, this event will be the biggest event ever done in the history yeah. of network marketing online. And my biggest you know, advice to anybody listening right now is, yeah, for sure, you get a ticket, no brainer get one, but think about, okay, great. Whether you're new in the business, you've been in a little bit been in for a year, how can I get, if you're brand new, how can I get 10, 15 people with me? If you've been in a little bit, how can I get 40, 50 people with me? If you've been in a year or two years, right? You've got a team and you're like, man, why, why aren't they going faster? Like, how can you get hundreds of people there? I think our biggest breakthrough is when we went from, oh, Sarah and I are going with a couple people to, no, Sarah and I are going with thousands of people because we had those people in our team so we can move them into this event. And I'm just telling you, we've got leaders. And I'll say it just like this, that we're making 20 grand a month and a year later, they were over 100 grand a month because of this training specifically. And the yep. course connected, and, and, and that's a bigger story. Think about if you're brand new and you can go from zero to 500, zero to a thousand bucks a month. It happens like that. Yep. 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 So let me, I, I want to, um, yeah, I asked the team to put together a special offer just for the people who are watching this live right now, whether you're watching this live or replay, this is available to you. So this is the reason why I wanted you to share this with the people on your team. If you want to be like Santa Claus and, and give away something cool, this is uh, an opportunity for you. So let me show you a couple things. Uh, first of all, go virtual GoPro 2021, three days, December 3rd through the 5th, we built this $20 million studio. Everybody's got a front row seat. We're providing translations to major languages around the world. You're going to hear from network marketing's best, right? And you're going to hear from, we have like Tony Robbins is going to be part of this. And we have some other big names going to be part of this. And you're going to learn how to develop a million dollar mindset and how to grow your circle of influence and how to engage new people, help them reach their potential, how to become a world-class leader how to implement the principles and strategies that are working right now. What's working right now? How to apply those strategies to, to permanently and measurably improve your productivity and how to 
create an incredible game plan for 2022, how to close this year strong and how to crush 2022. Three days, December 3rd, 4th, and 5th, the most comprehensive, impactful, powerful three days of your life. If you're involved in network marketing and you're not there, I think you're nuts. Now, I have something special for the people who are who don't have a ticket, and I have something special for people who do have a ticket, and that is this special power training system. We've put together a power training masterclass collection. This is nine courses, 25 hours of the best mindset and skills training ever offered to help you become a network marketing pro. $3,200 worth of courses. That's what we sell them for. Um, it, if you go to our website, $3,200 worth of courses. In those courses, how to never run out of people to talk to, how to engage more prospects, how to make your presentation amazing, how to have an incredible follow-up system, how to overcome the most commonly uh, used objections, how to turn prospects into customers and, and team members, how to get your people started right, how to create energy and excitement around promoting events, tons of information, okay? Tons of this. So here's the deal. The ticket, a normal ticket for GoPro 2021 is $499. You can get the a GoPro ticket today, if you, since you're watching this, for $197. And I will give you the Power Training Masterclass Collection for free. $197 for your ticket. Um, special just for today. And I will give you $3,200 worth of courses to prepare you for this event and make 2022 even better for free. Okay. Now, do you agree that that's a pretty good deal? 197 and I'll give it to you for free. Now, look, here's the thing. If you go to tix, T-I-X dot gopro 2021.com or you just use this QR code, Maybe take a photo of this or something so you have it for your team. Ticks.gopro2021.com to get your tickets or scan the QR code. And let me tell you something. Um, I'll throw this up just so I have it. Um, you, what you'll see on the page is here's a special offer. This is only for you that are watching this now to get your ticket or to get more tickets for the people on your team. Every ticket you get is going to come with, even if you get them for somebody else, you'll be able to, to uh, get them the, the entire power training masterclass system. Um, every ticket holder that, that buys at this 197 price is going to get it. Now, if you already have your ticket, if you already have your ticket and you'd like to get the power training masterclass system, just scroll down on the page and you'll find for you, you can get that entire $3,200 masterclass system for $97, okay? So we made it easy for everybody. But I, I can't tell you how long this offer is going to last. I mean, it, it's good for today for sure. Um, it's probably good for this week. But if you if you go to that page and that offer is has changed and the price has gone up, don't be too surprised because $197 for a $500 ticket plus getting $3,200 worth of free courses is a pretty great deal, okay? So who's if, if you're going to either get your ticket or you're going to upgrade and get the courses in addition to your ticket, put a number seven into the comments. I'd like to see that. Put a number seven in and show me what you're prepared to do in order to make this amazing and spectacular uh, and I would encourage you to go do it now. Go to the website, do it now. So while you're doing that, I want to um, uh, uh, introduce John Maxwell, who's going to provide some additional information to you. And uh, when when he's done, Tony and Sarah and I are going to come back. We're going to talk about some additional um, ideas and strategies in order to be able to grow your business. But check this out. Uh, all right, I got to move this. Thanks. Uh, check this out from Mr. John Maxwell. I wrote a book uh, about a year ago called The Power of Five. And I wrote it for uh, the direct marketing uh, group of people because I love so much what you do. I love so much how you help people. I've, I've just, 
honestly, you're you're right at the top of my list as far as favorite people because every day you work hard at adding value to others. And what I want to give you now is something to add value to you. The ability to uh, prioritize your life is one of the signs that you have learned how to lead yourself. Now, let me just start for just real quickly and say to you that when people ask me what my greatest challenge in leadership is, I always I always tell them like my greatest challenge in leadership is leading me. I be it's it's not leading you. My gosh, I mean I can tell my team what to do and 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 give them a vision. That that part is easy, but for me to to flesh out, to live out the priorities so that everybody else on my team can see it. Remember, leadership is highly, highly visual. People do what people see. No, nobody ever followed an unknown, unseen leader. They don't. And, and so leadership is everything about being an example, visualizing, fleshing out what you want. And, and so when I lead myself well, it sets my team up for them to do really well too. Just as if I lead myself poorly, honestly, there's no shot that my team is going to succeed at all. So let, let me kind of, let me tell you a, a quick story that will give you the foundation. And then I'm going to give you five, the, what, the five essentials I think that you want to have in this business to be successful. But first of all, the story. If I have a tree in my backyard and I want to cut it down, um, and I, ha I have an ax, if I if I go out, pick up my axe, go to that tree, and, and if I just I just swing, I swing that axe five times at that tree. Okay. Put the axe down, go back in the house. Next day, go pick up the axe, go to the same tree. Every day I, I pick up the axe, go to the tree, and every day I, I swing five times, put the axe down back. Every day, every day, five times. Just it's just five times. Okay. Not not 50, not five thousand, just five times. Taking that ax, swinging that tree. If 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 I do that every day, okay, what's eventually going to happen to that tree? You know the answer. It's going to fall. If it's a big tree, this may take a few years. If it's a smaller tree, I don't know, maybe a couple of months. I, I don't know. But here's what I know. If every day I pick up the ax, go to the same tree, swing five times, just five times every day, eventually that tree will fall. Okay, let me let me give you the essence of the story and let me apply it to where you and I are in our daily life. In this story that I just gave you, five things need to happen for me to succeed in knocking that tree down. Number, number one, I have to know what I want to accomplish. And that's that's where we all start. You have to know what you want to accomplish. Okay. And what I want to accomplish is I want to, I want the tree to fall. I want to, I want to cut the tree down. So the first thing I've got to do is, is in prioritize my life is absolutely know what my big picture goal is. Okay. That's number one. The second thing I need to do though to be successful is I have to have the right tool. If you notice, what did I do every day? I, I went outside and I picked up an axe. Well, an axe is going to cut that wood. And, and I, I, I pick up an axe. Now, I, I didn't pick up a baseball bat. Now, I I probably have a baseball bat, and I, I suppose I could go out to that tree and I could swing that, that baseball bat five times at that tree every day. But, but here's what I know. I, with the wrong tool, a lot of work, a lot of hard work still won't make me effective. I've got, I've got to have the right tool. And so when people talk about how hard they work, many times I want to call timeout and say, let me ask you a couple of questions. And one of the questions I'm going to ask them is, talk to me about the tools you have. What, what, what are the resources that you use that allow you to accomplish what you want to accomplish? Cut down the tree, I've got to have an ax. So I've got to know what I want to accomplish, and I have to have the right tool. But there's something else that has to happen. I, 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 number three, I have to take action. It's, it's just very simple. If I go out and sit on the porch and say, boy, I'd like to see that tree cut down. And wow, I, you know, I, I think I've got an ax over there that, that I believe I believe I could use that. It, 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 nothing, nothing, nothing happens until you make something happen. You got to take action. The only way that you can have traction is to get action. You got my dad. Eric, he, when I was a kid, he, he'd look at me and say, okay, John, five frogs are on a log, 
Four decide to jump off. How many frogs are left? You know, one dad. No, 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 five. Five frogs are still in the hall. He said, son, just because you decide to do something doesn't mean you did it. You got to do it. And, and so action is right in the middle of these five things because I, I'm just here to tell you, well, my, my mentor, John Wooden, used to tell his ball players, don't, don't tell me what you're going to do. Show me what you're going to do. And he'd say, John, Nothing happens till my players show me. They got to show me what they're going to do. So this power of five is just very simple. I have to know what I want to accomplish. You've got to have the right tool. And, and when I know those two things, I've got to take action. I've got to take action. Now, n- number four, I have to stay focused. If you noticed in the little story, every day I went to the same tree, took the tool, Swung the axe five times, same tree. Now, now let me ask you a, a question. What would have happened if, what would have happened if instead of, what would have happened if instead of going to the same tree, I got out the second day and I thought, you know what, I, that tree over there, need, yeah, I, I need to, I need to, I need that tree needs to be cut down. I think I'll go over there five times over there, and the next day I thought, oh my gosh, I think that tree over here five times. And, you know, here we are. I, when it's all done, you you know, I'm not going to cut any trees down. I'm just going to have a bunch of scarred trees in my backyard. And that's exactly what happens to people. They get distracted. You know, what you focus on expands. And, and so, therefore, for me to understand my everyday essentials, I've got to know what I want to accomplish. I've got to, I've got to have the right tool. I've got, to, I've got to take action. And I have to stay focused. Just I have to stay focused. Now, now there's one other thing. And, and then you've got the story. And now I can build off of the story and help you really lead yourself well and get your everyday essentials down really pat. Um, the, the last thing. And this one's so missed. Oh, gosh. We just, I never heard anybody hardly talk about this, but it's so essential. <sighs> Number five, you have to be consistent. That There was a word I used a dozen times in the story every day. Every day. Every day I go out in my backyard. And every day I pick up my axe. And every day I take action. I swing five times. Every day I stay focused on the same. Every day. Every day. Every day, every day, every day. Now, I'm 73, and and you're just going to have to trust me on this. Consistency compounds. It just does. And I know in our, you know, get rich culture quickly, and, and, and you know, I got to have it now. I understand this this goes completely against the culture and, and, and everything else that we basically have probably been involved in in our in, in our daily routines but I, I just want you to know that consistency compounds and you and you just there's an incredible return if you stay with something that is really that really works the, the challenge obviously with consistency is that, well there's nothing sexy about it so let's start there I mean I mean who wants to go get a consistency award and 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 you and you don't you you can't get that the first week I mean at the end of the first week, somebody doesn't say, wow, here, we got a tr- consistency. No, no, it doesn't show up the first week, first month, first year, first five years. You, you see, that here, here's the thing you, you just don't want to miss about consistency. All the compounding is on the back end. All the compounding, not some of it. Okay, so give me your comments, Tony and Sarah, on... on uh, the consistency and the power of five. What do you think? Um, I love it. I think that the I think the piece that people don't realize is the most powerful is the compounding because you don't it, right. And so I think that you know people tend to get frustrated because they are consistent for five days and then they're like, right. "There's nothing," you know, <laughs> or even thirty days and. You know, it's the, it's a, well, what were you planting 90 days ago? You know what I mean? What was the, right. because I think for us, a lot of times we don't see our, 
effort until, you know, way down the road. I don't know if you ever heard it. So Ed Milet did an awesome podcast once and he talked about the echo. Did, do you, did you hear that? No. And what he talks about in the echoes, he talks about how like when you echo into a canyon, the echo always comes back, but it doesn't always come back when you think. But he's like, but the coolest thing about the echo is the promise that it does come back. But it can come back good or bad, depending on what you're out there doing, right? And so I, I look at that as like in my business, where I just always looked at, okay, I, my echo, like it's going to come back, but I have to be out there and consistently planning and not falling in love with, you know, or getting caught up. I'm like, when is it going to come back? But just the promise of that it does come back, right? And so I think that it's that also that philosophy of just being consistent, being consistent and knowing that, you know, eventually it is going to show up, but not getting caught up on like, when does it show up? You know? Right, yeah, right, secret, right. You know, what I say, Eric, all the time to people is the secret to recruiting and everybody who wants to recruit in network marketing is to do it every single day because what will happen is, is sure, a lot of people don't join that first day that you're recruiting them, right? But people go, well, why do some people always sponsor three to five new people every single month? It's because they're talking to people every single day. It's like, we're sponsoring people today that we talked to eight years ago. So <laughs> right. that is the compound piece. That is the consistency piece. And that is the solution to recruiting. If you talk to people every single day, you will sponsor all the time. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Well, listen, I, I wanted everybody to get some value today from you two. Uh, I wanted to be able to provide some value myself. Um, we do have that challenge the gopro2021.com forward slash challenges that will give you a video training from the Six Figure Summit. That's a free gift to you. And also for those of you who have your ticket or would like to upgrade your ticket, I understand some of the links are, are working a little funky, but uh, don't worry about that. If you, if you have any challenges with it at all, send an email to support at networkmarketingpro.com, support at networkmarketingpro.com, and uh, they'll take care of you. So don't worry about it. Uh, we got a little bit of time to be able to figure out all the bells and whistles. But listen, um, go out there, do your thing. Uh, network marketing isn't perfect, but it's better. And my wish for all of you is that you decide to become a network marketing professional, that you decide to go pro because it is a stone cold fact that we have a better way. Everybody have a great day and I'll look forward to seeing you soon. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.